my beautiful friends welcome back to my channel I'm so happy that you're there with me today uh, thanks for joining me and uh, if you're a new viewer well consider subscribing and hit that notification bell it's going to notify you every time I release a new video and if you like well just click the thumbs up the like button <laughs> So guys, today I wanted to do a straight pour. Again, I know I love straight pours, but I have um, primary elements. Uh, I had leftovers from my last pour and I wanted to just put layers in my cup for my straight pours with my leftovers. I don't know what it's going to look like. I've never done that before. I've never tried it. So, yeah, let's try something new. You know me, I like to try things. So, with no further wait, I'm going to bring you down on the canvas right away. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, today, I'm going to be working on a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft, an inch and a half deep, as usual, because you know I just love these canvases. Sorry, I should have put on my gloves first. <laughs> so, this is the size, 20 by 20 canvas. Okay, I know I forgot something. I don't have my big cup. Let me take my big cup now. Where are ya? Here it is, guys. I'm having it. Okay. Now, I will put down a little tissue, as usual, in the middle, because I'm a little messy when I pour in my cup. So this is a 16 ounce uh, to here. If I fill it up, we get a little bit more. And that's about the the amount of paint we need for this size canvas. But let me talk to you about my colors. Let me push this aside. First, we have um, Golden Iridescent Pearl. Here I have Deco Art Metallics uh, in Glorious Gold. Very pretty colors. Uh, this is, uh, let me see, Ocean Teal from Pourage Passy Paints. Again, I love my Pourage Passy Paints and they're going away slowly. Okay, this is Moody Blue uh, from Pourage Passy Paints. Again, here we have Bubble Gum from Pourage Passy Paints. Again, I love these paints. Here we have Mo uh, no, not this is not Moody Blue. This is Deep Lagoon from Pourage Passy Paints. Again, this is Lemon Lime Shimmer from Pourage Passy Paints. And then, I don't know if you remember, these are my little leftovers. This is Robin's Egg. This is Mermaid Scale. This is um, Papillon. This is Pixie Dust, and this is Hydrangée. I have these little containers here. These are my leftovers. So I'm gonna try to do some layers in between my Pourage Passy Paints here and uh, uh, Golden Iridescent Pro White and the Deco Art Metallics. So I'm gonna leave them there, maybe on the sides. So you can see my layering. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of pearl in the bottom. Just enough to cover the bottom of the cup. That's it. And then I think I'm going to go with this, this little pixie dust. Just a little bit, once again, not too much. Okay, and then Moody Blues, a 
let's say a generous layer. Yeah. And then a little layer of uh, this is uh, papillon. going to be gonna come off the canvas but anyways I wanted to put it in so this is Idrange from Color Art Primary Elements all right so our cup is pretty full now and look at me messy messy me I <laughs> won't we'll pick this up get rid of these. I think I'm going to pour a puddle of this pearl in the middle and the gold. Why not? Let's have fun. Probably going to get any cells. Hopefully, that would be fun. That would be fun. Alright. Shall we do this, guys? Let's go. This is so pretty in this cup.
That was not a good catch. <laughs> okay, how does this look inside? Let me, uh, let me fix this. I don't know what I did with my skewer, but I'm gonna go with this. Okay, this I'm gonna try just to going to be perfect this way. Now let's torch this because there's a lot of air bubbles in here. So here I have a little flow standard. It's actually my drips that I catch on my table sometimes. And this is a, like a beautiful light blue. guys I'm gonna pause you for a second and I want to wreck this thing <laughs> I think it's beautiful but I think once a few lines in there it's gonna be very pretty and I don't find my skewers so should I do it with my hands no I want small lines so I'll be back in just a second guys all right here I am. Okay, let me torch this one more time. Let's tilt this baby here. I'm gonna go hook this little corner here. Nice and slow. There's no rush. And here we go. See a bugger in here. Let me get this. Okay. Oh, I think it was just a little piece of paint that it wasn't dissolved. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Let's go get this corner hook here.
spring back. take a look. I seem to have a few little buggers here. I think this is very pretty. Now, we have to take a look what we like, what we don't like in this. I think that this part here could be stretched a little bit more. It would be a lot more prettier. So I'm going to tilt part here off Well, guys, I think this is very, very, very pretty. Yes, I like everything about this piece. So I guess I'm not touching it anymore. I'm just going to fix my sides, torch it, and uh, I will bring you down for a close-up, guys. Ooh, I love this. <laughs> Don't move, guys. Okay, my wonderful friends, look at this beauty. <laughs> Could it be possible that every time I do a painting, I fall in love? Do I have a problem here? <laughs> oh my goodness, this one is so gorgeous. I mean, it is stunning. Look at all those lines here. This is so pretty. Oh man, I'm loving this. And this is the pearl. Very shimmery in here. I'm so happy. Look at those, I don't know how to call them. And not fingerlings, but wow. And the lemon lime, just a few little touches in here. This is so, so, so pretty. <laughs> and the funny part, remember, I put some pink in here, uh, bubble, bum, bu bubble gum pink. 
<laughs> Sorry, I have a hard time talking. Well, I guess that this is the bubblegum pink mixed with the moody blues. And uh, look at that. <laughs> so, so cute. And these just popped up a few minutes ago. These little cells in the moody blues. Oh, this is so cute. I'm loving this piece. Really, really, really. I don't know for you, but I think it's very interesting. You know, the fact that there's a lot going on here and here, a little bit less here and here, like we say, it it's a place for the eye to rest and uh, yeah look at that corner here <laughs> I hope that this dries like this guys I'm so happy with it so yeah stay tuned in a few seconds I will show you the dry results okay this is the dried results can you believe how beautiful this is? Oh, I'm so much in love. This shimmers from everywhere. Look at that. Do you see the color shift in here? This looks like moody blues. And this looks like <laughs> purple. Oh, and look at the shimmer in the gold here. Oh, this is so, so, so pretty. Guys, I can't believe how happy this makes me when I have beautiful results like this. And look at those little cute cells. <laughs> they dry beautifully. Yeah. And this middle, hmm, a lot of things going on here. Look at those little lines there with the lemon lime <laughs> color. So I think it was a good idea to put uh, my leftovers of primary elements in here. I think it gave a little oomph to this uh, painting. I think it's just gorgeous, guys. <laughs> I just love to do this. Ooh, purple. Of course, you see the ring light over here, but it's just to show you how much this thing shimmers. So, tell me what you think. And if you're interested by this piece, again, you can shoot me an email. Or you can go on my Instagram page. I always put up a picture with the dimensions of the painting and the price. So, tell me what you think, guys. And I love to read you, really. It's so heartwarming. You are just so special to me. And uh, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So, again, thanks for watching. And until the next video, au revoir. Just a little shimmer again, yeah. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.